You've got a busy week next week, haven't you, with JP? Um, I mean, he's, he's got he's had so many winners there over the years, and he's starting off with with a great chance on Tuesday with with John Bond in the arc. We're just talking about him and his chances there. We, could that be the first of quite a few next week? You know, look, he's a good chance. You look yeah. at horses and you think, you know, the usual thing when people buy a horse, they think, oh, is he going to be? He's a chaser in the make and all that. I mean, it's hard to look at John Bond and think that he's not going to be a better chaser than he was a hurdler because mm. he's he touch wood. He looks quicker from A to B. He's he's you know he doesn't he, he's he's quite yeah he's quick at what he does and he touch wood he seems safe at what he does but he's fast and efficient and doesn't you know mm. so look there's no doubt that El Fabiola looks a pretty good horse and you could make cases that it was his only his second run at entry and but John Bond had been to Cheltenham look I, I, who knows I, mm. I, not just because he's JP but I'd like to ride John Bond yeah, I, think I, be, I think he'd be an exciting horse to ride. Could Epitant reverse the form with Honeysuckle and the mares? Do you know you look at all the you look at all the form in the past and you think how can she? Yeah. But has Honeysuckle been at the level? You know, was she at the level in last year's champion her that she was the year before? But it was still a level that was good enough to beat Epitant. Um, Epitant's run against Com Constitution Hill. Uh, uh, Epitant's really well. She look you know she looks she looks really really well you know and she I, I yeah I, you're, you're hoping. Jim McGrath, uh, who obviously works with us occasionally, he was at Doncaster and he said he's never seen Epitaph look better than she did that yeah. day. And there just yeah. seems to be a bit of an extra spark about her this she, season. She, she seems to be moving good and all, and she seems happy, she's in a good place. Winning is a great thing, Mike. You know what I mean? She had a couple of runs against Constitution Hill, and, and, and I don't think a lot of people give the mind of a horse enough respect and don't mm. think about it enough. And, I, you know, and, and the fact that she went there and won had a nice time the last time. Going in there, having done that, is is a big plus. Mm. It's a, I, I think it's a, a, you know, it's a great frame of mind for a horse to be going in there, rather than one that has been beaten. That's for sure, you know. Okay. What's your view about Gentleman to Me? He's a, he's a bit of a character, isn't he? Very good. Yeah, horse. yeah. I mean, down. my 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 worry looking at the champ chase is that not my worry. You, you look at, like Energamine, for instance. Maybe last year it poured down sort of an hour before the champ chase, and the ground was slow, and mm. he'd probably go on any ground. I'd imagine he'll be better. At Cheltenham than he was in, in at, at the Clarence House meeting uh, yeah. when in, in Richard D and Edward Stone beat him. You think, oh, Edward Stone was a bit unlucky. You know, are we giving Edward G D enough, you know, enough credit and uh -huh. enough respect because he's an improving horse and he's been winning the last twice. Um, but the thing about Gentleman to me, he looks like he's a better horse in the spring. Yeah. The other thing is obviously we had a wet enough week and I think the drier the ground conditions, the better chance he'd have had of beating the others. You know, mm -hmm. so. Ain't gonna be dry, is it? Don't know. I don't. No. I don't it doesn't look like it. Doesn't you know? look like. But it, I'm not. Best race of the week, isn't it? For it's so open. It's, it's so open, players, and yeah. tactically, it's so interesting. Yeah. And all the little moves are going to be magnified, and how the game of cat and mouse plays out. And we can look at that. Stuff. We can look at that Clarence House chase. You don't know how how they've been. Not saying they're going to be not well prepared, but are they going to be prepared with Cheltenham in mind? You know, will we see a better Ed, uh, Ed Nergamine, and will oh. we see a better Everson? Will we see, it might all be better. You Probably. know, who knows? Yeah. Who knows? But we don't who know knows? how. Their training had gone, how the regime had gone, the lead yeah. up to it. You don't know, you know, who knows? It's going to be a cracker, though. Um, look, look, you've got a whole load in the handicaps. I mean, I know that JP loves winning the Potemps. Uh, I just thought that uh, thanks for the help was impressive at Cheps, though, the great. Yeah, he was. Play. He was. We really fancied him at Weather the time before and yeah. didn't perform, but he won good. Um, had a wind up, didn't he? Had a wind up, obviously, helped him, won really nice. He, I, again, you listen to all. There's loads of them in the Potemps that are fancy. <laughs> Charles Burns is one, and there's there, any, you know. But he has a chance, and you'd like him. He's a fine, big horse, good looking. There won't be many better looking horses what, when walking around the parade ring. But as Martin Pipe said to me once, looks don't win horse races, and he looked at me up and down one day. So, um, <laughs> Did he? so yeah. But loads <laughs> in the handicaps. My look, yeah, <laughs> four in the Fred know, Winter. Wanting to see, oh, yeah, there's four in the Fred Winter. Takeo was the, the the shortest price one. Um, finished behind the two horse Gala Macau and, and mm -hmm. Lousy Mouth and Leperstown. You know, he could be well handicapped, who knows? He probably will have to be. Uh, I, I, um, you could make a little case for even Risk Bell, or you, I don't think JP will care which one of them he's standing if he's standing <laughs> in the winner's enclosure with any of them. Um, he won't be bothered. And the other handicaps, just thanks for the help. Uh, what else have we got? Filey Bays in the county, ran well in the bet Fred, or bet fair. Um, was second. Campron in the coral. Campron, uh, if Campron was twenty to one, I'd think he had. You'd think, oh, you'd take a little chance, but I think he's six or seven to one or something. Yeah, they've they've, lo they've know? locked onto him, haven't they? And and again, the ground would be a little worry for him. For me, he, he I, 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 yeah, I think the better the ground, the better help. We went chasing with him. He didn't really. 
didn't really take to it. Yeah. And it's the frame of mind as well. But he is a little bit lower in handicap, but he'd want to be, you know, he, you know. Yeah. So so look, there's loads of chances. And as I said, the owner, I don't think Mr. and Miss McManus would care which horse they're standing in the winner's enclosure with, and I certainly wouldn't. So, But you go there with high hopes, and it's it's exciting, isn't it? You know? Oh, it's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. It and we really have a great is. champion hurdle, and a, you know. Yeah, what are your views about the champion hurdle? Ah, look, sure, Constitution Hill looks like, mm. you know, um, he, he, he looks the part. You know, you think the ground maybe be more testing. Is it, you know, is Woody Mullins going to have more winners or Gordon Elliott or the Irish mm. lad because of mm. the testing ground? Is it going to give statement a little bit more hope? The fact that it could be testing enough, and you know the good horses go on ever and don't they? I mean, Constitution Hill. He's he's grabbed everybody's imagination. AP. He yeah. could be the best we've ever, ever seen, couldn't he? Yeah, I, it could I, be. I, I, it could be. Let's see him do it first. Yeah, you know, I think you know, I I I think the best is you may have is is longevity, isn't it? You know, you mm. got to come back and do it again. Do it again, you know, and that's why that's why the Coral Stars and. The Desert Orchards and the Istabrax and mm. Hurricane Fly, you know, they went year after year. They turned up at numerous festivals yeah. and, and performed, you know. So not taking take none away from me, he, he has the wow factor. He does. You know, he has yeah. the wow factor. Yeah. Right? And that's a great thing. And, and sport needs it, the sport, because, you know, as I said, we talk about, you know, going into Cheltenham, there's, there's, there's things that we shouldn't be talking about being talked about instead of great horses. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's what everyone wants to go to Chetland to see, whether it be him or the champion chase or, you know, you're looking at him galloping the chump could be the same, the Gold Cup. But they have a, they have a, a long way it's to like go to get to the, the level of those brilliant horses. Yeah, they indeed. have the potential. Yeah. yeah. But, but I, 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 we compare and try and compare way too quickly.